The hardest thing to do as a trader is to stay organized. You want to be able to keep everything that you need about a particular strategy right in front of you. You'd hate to have to keep bouncing from one chart to another to get all of the information you need. You could possibly end up losing a great trade. So one of the other ways, other than creating templates in our software and creating symbol groups to stay organized, you can also organize your chart window. And we do this with pages. Now, I always suggest to start from scratch. So if you're going to build a page starting from scratch, you'll want to go to Pages and select Create New Chart Page. Now, this is basically going to give you one blank chart window. Uh, and that chart window actually will depend on your default template, but you'll have one blank chart, and that one chart will have the Dow Jones Industrial Index symbol on it. Remember, as you've heard me say in other teachings, the symbol is irrelevant. What we're trying to do now is get to the point where we have all of the charts that we need. So the first chart that pops open will be that of a uh, default daily chart and now we'll start adding charts to the page. If you have an idea of the number of time frames that are built into your strategy, build a chart window for each time frame. So in this example, we'll do a chart window for daily, weekly, and monthly. I already have my daily chart, so let's go ahead and create a monthly or a weekly chart. So we click on the new chart icon. I'm going to ignore the symbol because it's irrelevant. And here now for the settings on the new chart, I'm going to choose to change the chart to monthly or weekly. And this could be something we do after the fact as well. So if I create a new chart, I can simply click OK, OK, and then change the time period once the chart has been created. So now notice to the bottom left, I have a daily chart, a monthly chart, and a weekly chart. I could now save it as a page, but I want to arrange my chart window so that I can see all three charts simultaneously. So I'm going to click on the second icon here called Tile or Cascade. And I'm going to tile my charts into two rows. And I want them to be in this order. I'm actually going to move weekly above here. So it'll be weekly, daily, and monthly. And then I'll click the OK button. Now the reason why I ordered my charts that way is now that I have them tiled, I have my weekly chart here on the top left, monthly chart on the bottom right, and uh, bottom left, and my daily chart here on the side. And I'll take that daily chart and resize it. Now you may think that when you create your chart page in a tile layout like this that you can't get back to a full chart screen. Well, here's another tip. When you're in tiles, you can double left click along the top edge of the chart window to go from being in a full chart mode to a tile mode or from the tile mode to the full chart mode. And you can do that from any chart window. Now again, remember that your chart page can contain as many number of charts as you want. And again, you might not want them to be in a tile mode, so we'll take a look at that too. But you can have a chart page with any number of charts in it. So once you're done setting up your charts, creating the layout, now we're ready to save the page. So we'll click on Pages, Save Chart Page, and give your page a name. Once you click the Save button, the page that you created will show up in the page list, plus it will also show up at the top of Trade Navigator. So organize your chart windows and create a page.